Two computer scientists using an ordinary MacBook have shown that Gödel's ontological proof of God is correct on a mathematical level using higher modal logic. If you're an atheist, as I am, you don't need to go into defensive mode. According to the German newspaper Das Spiegel, there's a link to the article in the low bar. What the two researchers, Christoph Binsmuller and his colleague Bruno Paleo, say they have actually done is proof that the work of the renowned Austrian mathematician Kurt Gödel is valid internally. But the real news isn't about a supreme being, but rather what has now been achieved in a scientific field using superior technology. Let me explain. Gödel used modal logic to derive a complicated logical argument which I've placed on the blackboard in this video. The details of the mathematics involved in Gödel's ontological proof are complicated, but in essence, the Austrian was arguing that by definition God is that for which no greater can be conceived. And, and while God exists in the understanding of the concept, we could conceive of him as greater if he existed in reality, therefore he exists. As you can see, the proof is only internally consistent. If you're familiar with Gödel's proof, you will likely know that the theorems and axioms in his proof are assumptions that cannot themselves be proven. But they can nevertheless be expressed as mathematical equations, and that mathematics can be tested for internal correctness. That's what these two have done. <clears throat> they have demonstrated mathematically that the modal logic Gödel used in his proof is in fact mathematically correct. There's a link to the journal article demonstrating that they've done this in the low bar. Their article has the catchy title Formalization, Mechanization, and Automation of Gödel's Proof of the Existence of God. And it'll be the second link after the Das Spiegel article itself. The real advance then is not the proof of the existence of a supreme being, that really hasn't been proven, but as Benzmuller phrased it in his interview with Das Spiegel, it's totally amazing that from this, arg this argument, led by Gödel, all this stuff can be proved automatically in a few seconds or even less using a standard notebook. He went on to say that the idea to work out the mathematics for Gödel's proof occurred to him when he was reading a book on modal logic entitled Types, Tableaus, and Gödel's God by Melvin Fitting. Uh, there's a link to that also in the low bar if you're interested. The method the two researchers used will have applications for similar problems in artificial intelligence, applied mathematics, and other technological fields. For more information, look at the links in the low bar. Thanks for watching. Take care.